What's going on guys? Coming at you live from the streets of Los Angeles, walking to Starbucks, which is one and a half miles away. It's a 20 minute walk. I'm gonna try and shorten that time because I have a way faster walking pace than a lot of other people. Yeah, I don't get Wi-Fi at my hotel unless I pay 15 bucks a day for it. So yeah, this is my uh, walking adventure to uh, Starbucks. It is, oh! It is so weird being in a city that I actually don't really know that much about. Unlike New York, I know exactly where everything is on the island of Manhattan. A lot of parts of Brooklyn, a lot of parts of Queens, Staten Island, the Bronx. Here, I am a complete stranger. I've been chilling at Starbucks for like an hour and I'm trying to download one zip file so that way I can edit a video while I'm here. And it's only at 739 megabytes. I don't know how big this is. It's not that many files. I just don't know what the frig is taking so long. So I think I have an alternative mode of transportation to get me back on time before I have to go back out into Los Angeles. I got a Lime scooter. Never used one of these things before because they're not really in New York. We got City Bike. That scooter ride was so much fun. I can understand why people love doing it in Los Angeles. Look at my hair. Oh my god. All right, plan is now to uh, drive to downtown LA first. I gotta stop at Best Buy because I forgot the wall plug that goes uh, from the converter to the wall for my drone. Um, the drone batteries aren't dead because I didn't drain them before I went to the airport, but they were like a quarter dead. So I'd still like to get the wire because I want to fly uh, off the coast and stuff when we drive it to San Francisco. So uh, yeah, let's go to downtown LA. Culver City Westfield. Need to get this adapter thing. It's a pain in my ass. Can't believe I forgot in New Jersey. You I usually bring everything. I usually overpack when it comes to cables and wires and shit. And I fucking forgot. <laughs> Inside of Los Angeles's US Bank Tower, which is the second tallest building in the city of Los Angeles, was until the Wilshire Grand was built just outside about a year ago. I think it was completed. But uh, now I am going to uh, go to the top, see the awesome view of Los Angeles. Finally made it atop LA. This is pretty neat. It's kind of like just Dallas where the streets look really empty from down below, but it's busier than Dallas because it is downtown Los Angeles. It's one of the biggest cities in the country. This is a crazy view. I mean, it goes on forever. <laughs> So glad I did this. And next we're gonna try and go to the Wilshire Grand because that's the tallest building in the city of Los Angeles. Before I go, there's one extra thing that I have to do here, just one. Well, I have come out of that building a changed person. I think I shat my pants while I was going down that slide. My God, that scared the shit out of me. Still gonna try and go up to one or two other buildings, probably just one. The Wilshire Grand Hotel, tallest building in the entire city, the entire county. Uh, I still want to explore a lot of the city of LA.
the Griffith Observatory. It's right here. The sun is pretty bright in my face. I don't know why I'm not wearing my cat front wars, but the Hollywood sign, right where that antenna is, I don't know if you can see it, it's there. Otherwise, getting a lot of views of LA today. That was my big goal here. It's pretty awesome though. I, I'm loving the views of the city. It's a beautiful place. California is a beautiful state from what I've seen so far. It is an amazing orange hue up here on top of the mountain looking over Los Angeles. I'm gonna try and go down and just see what the paths are like over here because we're on top of a mountain. May as well. Sun is gonna set in like 15 minutes or so. It's beautiful up here. honestly say that this is one of the most relaxing spots I have ever been in in the entire country. I've been to Hawaii, I've been to Orlando, I've been to New York, I've been to Philly, I've been to Boston, I've been to DC. This spot, out of all the spots, I mean except for maybe a back home, this spot in a metropolitan area has been the best spot I've ever had. I'm sitting on the ground and seeing the entire metropolitan area. It's incredible. I've fallen in love with this city in the past two days and I'm so glad to be here and I'm so glad I'm staying here for a few more days and then going to another fantastic city. The view from here just makes you take it all in and it's fantastic.